Elizabeth Debicki has more similarities with Diana than you have seen in The Crown. However, these 20 little known facts about the actress and the things she went through to portray Diana will leave you surprised. There's no doubt that Elizabeth Debicki took acting to a new level by perfectly portraying Diana's elegance and composure in The Crown, but she actually never planned to be an actress. Elizabeth had always dreamt of being a professional ballet dancer like her parents. Sadly, her tall frame got in the way as she couldn't actualize her dream because of her height. If you are wondering how that became an issue, it's because at 12, she was already taller than all her ballet teachers. So she had to quit after training for a while without getting the desired result. As a performer, Elizabeth was able to find her way into acting pretty quickly, so another fact you don't know about the actress is that she got her big break in 2013. Although a few fans might just be meeting the actress now, she became known through her role as Jordan Baker in The Great Gatsby. Her role and performance in the film earned her the ACTA Award as the Best Actress in a Supporting Role. Another interesting fact that people don't know about Elizabeth is that she has roots in three countries, which is rare. The actress is Polish, Irish, and Australian. Elizabeth's father is Polish, while her mother is Australian and of Irish descent. Although she was born in France, her family moved to Melbourne in Australia, where she spent most of her childhood and teenage years. Also, a big part of her working life has been in London, and she ensures she has houses in London, Sydney, and Los Angeles. While this might look like a lot, it has made it possible for her to perfect and switch her accents. Elizabeth might be close in facial resemblance and body language to Diana, but the actress is much taller than Diana. Diana, and many fans don't know this as it looked like they might be the same height. But Elizabeth is 6 and 3, while Princess Diana is 5 and 10, so there's a clear difference which was surprisingly not noticeable at a first glance. It's super obvious that Elizabeth's figure and elegance were some of the things that helped her to perfect the role of Diana in the show. However, many fans don't know that the actress once had struggles with negative body image as she wasn't confident about her body at all. It was a big issue that the actress struggled with while growing up, but now Elizabeth has learned to give herself a break and not shape herself into the beauty standards of this age. Funnily enough, the actress's gorgeousness can't be questioned as viewers could see it all in her eyes. Diana's expressions with the eyes are some of the features that Elizabeth got right about the character in The Crown, and the fascinating thing about this is that the actress has some very enticing blue eyes. One of her most exciting and well-distinguished features is her eyes, and they have been of enormous help to her in the film industry. Aside from having appealing features, if there's something that the actress knows how to do so well, then it's portraying complex and deep characters. Although that became obvious with The Crown, Elizabeth has been recognized and awarded for successfully playing some of her roles and the energy she puts into them. In Tenet, the actress played Kat, the female lead who got blackmailed by her estranged husband. For the role, Elizabeth had to get physically fit and give it her all to portray her character's complex situation. Also, the actress can put a emotional depths into her characters in ways that fans can't help but be moved, and she proved that again in The Crown. Another interesting fact about Elizabeth is that she was offered the role of Cat in Tenet without any audition. However, the actress took a surprising turn to ask for an audition. She said she needed to know that she could play the role and impress Christopher Nolan. During the audition, the casting directors were impressed and figured they were right to have offered her the part in the first place. Despite Elizabeth's excellent portrayal of Diana, a few famous people weren't okay with the show and criticized every bit of it. In the series, viewers saw how Diana, Charles, and Camilla's love triangle unraveled, and famous figures like Dame Judy and the former Prime Minister Sir John Major have condemned how sensitively Elizabeth played the role of Diana and made Camilla look bad. As soon as the show was released, Dame shared an open letter revealing that there should have been a disclaimer to respect the deceased Queen Elizabeth. She also added that the Netflix show would make fans think that's the whole truth, even even though it's not. The former prime minister just concluded his review of the show by calling it a barrel load of nonsense. Elizabeth has also reacted to these criticisms of her performance in The Crown. The actress revealed that it was a challenging role and not as easy as people assumed. However, she added that she only did her job by listening to the show's creator, Peter Morgan. Elizabeth explained this by saying, I really just trusted in Peter's emotional blueprint that he created for us to follow. It's his interpretation and I think it made emotional sense to me, so I clung to that. 
that because obviously it's devastating and it's fraught and we can never know. However, Peter Morgan didn't take the criticism well and has said that Dame and the former Prime Minister must be feeling stupid now for their opinions on Elizabeth's performance. So that's another unique fact about the actress as she knows how to play her characters to move critics and everyone alike and she's never afraid to use her voice. Aside from explaining that she was only following instructions for the role, the actress is also unhappy that some viewers couldn't stop discussing and spreading false opinions about her performance. And she revealed that she's had enough when she said, now the disclaimer is up there, we can maybe stop talking about it and move on. If that's helpful for certain people, so be it. And now the conversation can be returned to the creative endeavor of what the show is. She added that even though she respects people's opinions, they don't understand what it took for her to portray the role behind the scenes and the creativity behind it. Elizabeth mentioned that she got to a point where she almost gave up as she was under a lot of pressure, which many fans didn't know. And she wants people to understand that and respect the show for its efforts in the fictional drama of the royal family. Speaking about efforts, just as viewers saw Princess Diana being more involved in environmental causes and disasters, especially with landmines, the actress Elizabeth also has similar interests. Elizabeth is dedicated to making valuable commitments to society through her special interests in community development. So aside from acting, Elizabeth enjoys going around to make the world feel better for everyone else. Aside from her passion for improving the world, Elizabeth shares another trait with the late Princess Diana, which many fans don't know about. Firstly, one of the things that stood out in The Crown is how perfectly the actress nailed every one of Diana's iconic looks that get still praised today. However, this isn't a coincidence, as Elizabeth also has a great fashion sense, which she isn't afraid to show off. This has been proven in how she shows up on the red carpet and takes the stage with her mind-blowing looks. Due to this, the actress has made many extensive collaborations with famous fashion designers and photographers, and this exceptional skill has also helped her portray many of her roles. Diana's swimsuits in the show were one of the highlights as they found their way into the papers and became the talk of the town. But another fact about Elizabeth on the set of The Crown is that she didn't like any of the swimsuits, and her reason is that she doesn't like how swimsuits looked in the 90s. The fancy clothes, poses, calmness, elegance, and many good things that Princess Diana represents in the show are tiny compared to what the actress went through behind the scenes, there was a lot that went on concerning Elizabeth while shooting that many viewers don't know. So during the show's filming, Elizabeth was made to play the deceased in an open coffin. A source at the filming location said they actually made Elizabeth climb into the coffin and play as Diana. Viewers will see a French priest administering the last rites for Diana as she's pronounced deceased. The source added that this scene was inconvenient for the cast, especially Elizabeth, as it disturbed them all. With all these inconveniences, Elizabeth still went deeper into portraying the character, confirming another fact about her, her strong work ethic. Although Diana's crash scene in The Crown wasn't completely shown, Elizabeth mentioned that she had to do some severe stunts, which was a big challenge because she had to put all her body and mind into it. Now that Elizabeth is thriving in Hollywood, you won't believe that her first Hollywood movie was The Great Gatsby, released in 2013. But that's not all. As the actress visited America for the first time because of the film to have a screen test with Tobey Maguire. It gets even more fun with Elizabeth as the actress also got to act as Victoria in The Man From U.N.C.L.E. by snatching up the role after competing in an audition with actresses like Rose Byrne and Charlize Theron. The film was released in 2015 and the crazy thing is that the actress didn't have any driving experience before getting cast, even though it was a requirement at the time. Other interesting facts about Elizabeth are that she was academically sound and a seasoned voice actress as she played the role of Mopsy in Peter Rabbit. Also, she learned a lot from playing Diana. Share your thoughts in the comments and thanks for watching.